Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at Malwarebytes 3. So this is their new release of their program. So to get it you need to head on over to the link that's in the de description below and you will end up on a page that looks like the following. So Malwarebytes they've always been very good at protecting you from any anti-malware, ransomware, um, malicious website protection. They, they've always been the top in my eyes. So to get the program, you need to click on free download. And you should get a little pop up down in the bottom left hand corner if you're using Google Chrome saying that the program's downloading. So if we just scroll down, we can have a little look at what the new GUI looks like. And here it is on the right hand side. So it does look different to the older versions. So hopefully it's going to perform a lot nicer and better. So we're now going to run the setup file by clicking down in the bottom left hand corner. And we're just going to accept our language. And we're going to go next. I accept. Next. 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 And install. There's a lot of next then. <laughs> right. So once that's installed, we will load the program up. Okay, so we're now going to go on to finish and we're just going to double click the icon on the desktop. So introducing Malwarebytes 3.0. We're very excited to introduce the best Malwarebytes ever. Faster, more intelligent scans, layered real-time protection against malware, ransomware, exploits and malicious websites. Next generation detection technologies um, block ransomware and exploit attacks without the need for signatures. A new user interface designed to put you in control. So that's great. That is what we want. We want our computer safe, protected, so it can run at its full potential speed. You know, we don't want any um, malware or anything worming onto our machine, slowing down our computer. That is a no. We do not want that. So we're now going to go close. And as you can see, updates are not current. So it's just running an update now. As you can see, it's downloading the um, latest updates for us automatically. We've not had to do anything then. I've not had to click on check for updates. It's just doing it. So that's great. So it's also given us a free trial to the premium. So we can check out the premium and see whether it's worth the upgrade. I mean, we can actually go onto their website as well and go, what's the difference? Um, so free trial. So we get our 14 days free trial, which is absolutely great. So um, real time protection in the premium. So that is definitely good. Um, real time protection. It will automatically detect anything. But then you can do that with, you know, certain free antivirus programs. But still, that is good as malware bytes. It's always been my favorite, like I said. Um, Anti-exploit shields um, vulnerable systems and software from exploit attackers. Stops ransomware attacks before your data is held hostage. So what that means is if you get some ransomware, um, they zip up all your files, they put a password on it, and you know, um, you basically got to pay them to release those files. But a quick Google and stuff. And following some instructions, you'll be able to get those files back anyway. Um, malicious website protection. So prevents access to and from known malicious web pages. So that is all great. And it's definitely worth doing it, to be honest, in my eyes. As Malwarebytes, they've always been great. And I would highly recommend them. And no, I'm not being paid to say this. They've not even contacted me. I'm just doing this video for all of you. Right, so let's just minimize that now. And so here's our dashboard. We've got our scan page. So threat scan, our most um, comprehensive scan. It scans all the places malware is known to hide, including memory, star, registry, and file system objects. Recommended as your daily scan. You can do a custom scan as well, choosing where you'd like it to scan, or a hyperscan quickly checks memory and startup objects for active malware threats. If anything is found, we recommend running a threat scan afterwards for more comprehensive detection. So the threat scan 
is your main scan that is the big bad boy full scan so we got a quarantine this is where any threats I have found will be stored and we got our reports page so we can review any scans that we've done lately so under settings here you can enable automatic downloads um, notifications if you want them to show and pop up down the bottom right corner you can also change how long you want the pop-up to be there for personally I don't like pop-ups so I would disable that but it's down to preference really if you if you're running for a proxy you can do your proxy there um, Windows Activation Center usage and threat statistics anonymously help fight malware by um, providing usage and threats so if you want malware bytes to know what you know you've been up to on malware bytes then you can send them that information right protection here you can disable any protection um, real time it's totally up to you I mean if you're paying for the premium why would you disable that because that's what you paid for if you're going to disable that you're just you know stick with the free version so you've got your scan schedule there so it repeats once a day um, so as you can see my next scan is going to be um, tomorrow exclusion so manage the list of items that will be excluded from detection and we got my account so it says here when our subscription will expire and there you go as you can see 13 days remaining and we got about so what version we're running on malware bytes and just some other little bits of information there so like i said very very good program um and you can go ahead and click start scan and it will run the scan on your computer so if your computer is running dodgy, I definitely recommend doing this. So that is it. That is Malwarebytes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.